But welcome back to Spider-Man with me, Matthew Caddis, Iggy A Poogie. So it looks like Black Cat has left another of her marks around here. So where is it? You'd think it would be that graffiti right there. And that would be too obvious, I think. So yeah, this will take me another while. You can see actually the cat there, so I don't know why that is, but yeah, apparently it's not there. So um, yeah. It's some nice looking graffiti, I will give it that, but yeah. Another thing of note, apparently I managed to get it there. No one gonna catch you. Okay, so we've got that one of black cats. So today we are going to try and um, see Jefferson Davis's um, in, um, great award. Unfortunately, I think it's just gonna be some great coup for. Um, Dare uh, I say, Mia Osborne, of course. Not saying that uh, Jefferson Davis doesn't deserve the award. He does deserve it, in my opinion. Location is Little Tokyo. Over. Howard, long time no see. How's Pidgey doing? He's a little down today. Misses his cousins. Been a bit of a whirlwind for both of us. Owners of my building, rezoned for commercial. We had to move into Feast to get our bearings. I'm so sorry. New York landlords can really be heartless. When they kicked me out of my place, they set all my birds loose. Pidgey's the only one who found me. I've been looking everywhere for the rest of them. But with my bad leg and all... You know what? I get around. How about I keep an eye out for him? You do that? Oh, thank you. If you have any luck, please give me a call. Apparently, being the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man means also tracking down pigeons. Although, it is quite helpful, actually, because we can get pigeon tokens for that. Yes, seriously. Anyway, that being said, now we are going to see, um, uh, I see the um, award ceremony for Jefferson Davis. Indeed. I think something very bad is going to happen. And yes, it is going to be related to the demons. Of course, because we did kind of meet their leader, who seemingly did pack a lot more punch than, dare I say, um... Um, um, even Fisk did. So, yeah. So, apparently we've come across a crime here. Speaking of demons, yes, apparently there was some hanging out on top of this, um, um, top of this flat. One of which has, um, a bazooka, one of them has a, a shield, seriously. Um, I don't know if that was made by Tony Stark, but, yeah. That's the same sort of power, um, as I would expect there, but, yeah. Um, and, no. Um, this is the, I don't know if this is the first time we've dealt with um, RPG wielding um, uh, dare I say demons in this way, but um, basically once they start beeping the bazooka, or once it starts beeping, then you want to get the hell out of the way before you, um, well, do so. Another nice trick you can do with the shield um, wielding demons is that you can... Um, slide under them. Again, we did see that when we were taking down Fisk at the beginning of the game, but here it is brought into much sharper focus. It is probably the only other way other than going around the back, and that's a bit harder to do on top of a small space, like on top of a flat, for example, or on top of a building. So yeah, um, so if you can't slide under them, then uh, definitely try and or go behind them by um, evading them, then definitely try doing that. Or I could use a web bomb, because one of them let their guard down there. Either that or the electric webs, let's see. Okay, impact webs, that works. Especially as that guy did actually let his guard down. Okay, that guy dropped a grenade. I suppose I could have, um, um, put it under him. Okay, no, his guard ain't down yet. Okay, there we go, we webbed his face, kick his ass. That's going to be the way forward here. Either that or slide under him. Okay, where next? Uh, uh oh, RPG. Okay, get the hell out of the way there. And then 
Uh, how about we knock him off the building? There we go. Yeah, I know. We are supposed to be the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but... Never mind, I guess it's too late now. Though he doesn't have a sort of um, meter there, but never mind. We also get a nice level up and a, a skill point. So yeah. Anyway, that being said, I am going to go straight now, unless I'm running into any more criminals, uh, straight to the City Hall, where Jefferson Davis, as I mentioned many times, in this episode alone, is getting his award. There's the stage entrance, and we'll be right out front. <sighs> Sounds like a lot of people out there. You'll be fine, honey. Last time I gave a speech, I was in high school. Miss Steinberg gave me a C minus. Well, if only Miss Steinberg could see you now. Hey, you got this, Dad. I mean, come on, you saved Spider Man. I'm pretty sure that makes you an official superhero. <laughs> a superhero? <laughs> or maybe I'm just a guy who doesn't give up. <laughs> Come on, honey. Welcome, everyone. And before I hand it off to Mayor Osborne, I'd just like to say a few words. Our city is so, so? Such exemplary citizens I think this gang war may finally be over. That, like, I would like, to hand like it over, to over? over? Um, I mean, there's some loose ends still to be tied up, but... Loose ends. Well... A truck pulled away from the scene from a company called Consolidated Shipping. Something's not right about it. I just don't know what. Hmm. Well, maybe after this we can grab some coffee. Figure it out together. Yeah. Um... Well, thanks, Jim. Couldn't have said it better myself, but I'll try. We all know that Officer Davis is a hero. But, uh... Instead of coffee, maybe we could have dinner instead. I, I could come over, uh, I'll cook. Or we could, you know, meet at a totally neutral location for a completely normal meal cooked by professionals. For acts of extraordinary bravery, above and beyond the call of duty, it is my privilege to present Officer Jefferson Davis with a department Medal of Honor. Phone call, sir. Kind of in the middle of something here, Jim. Sounds urgent, sir. Fine. Congratulations, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I share this honor with my family. My wife, Rio, and my son, Miles. Without their support, I... I couldn't do what I do. Yes? I've worked many years for this moment. Who is this? Over the coming days, your company, your city, and everything you care about will be destroyed. People will beg you for help, but you won't be able to save them. <laughs> Listen, jackass. I get threats like this twice a week. Why don't you grow a pair and tell me what you want? To watch you suffer.
Thank God. Can you hear me, baby? Can you hear me? Here. Raise my hand if you can hear me. Stay here. I'm going to find your father. Peter. Peter, wake up. Come on, say something, please. <sighs> This, for me, is where the game really turns dark. Because now, we're not playing as Peter or MJ at all. We are playing as Miles Morales, of course. And he's been left on his own. His mum has gone to find his dad, Jefferson Davis, who you saw uh, in that cutscene being pretty much pushed away by the... Um, oh, pushing the thing... Oh, Oh, the human bombs away from the other citizens so as to save other people's lives. So now we have to make our way through the debris from each of the explosions and indeed hopefully find Miles' dad, Jefferson Davis, and maybe his mum as well. Yes, seriously. If I expected to see this in a Spider Man game, Particularly after the thing. Yeah, seriously. And now we have to help this um, um, firefighter lift the this gigantic. I think I don't know if it's a girder, but yes, off of this victim. So yeah. So um, sadly, without uh, Miles being Spider-Man, we will have to use a bit of leverage here with this crowbar or pipe, at least. So yeah, at least someone's been saved here. <sighs> Are you okay? Nice going, kid. Are you okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you okay? I'm all right, man. Okay. All right. Okay. You sure you're okay? Yes, I'm gonna be all right. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. All right, Lisa. I, 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 love you. I have to go find Dad. Okay? No. Wait. Miles. No. Miles. No. Yes, there's only one way to go here, and that is up the rubble. And that ain't gonna be easy. No, because. Yeah, seriously. This is one of the saddest scenes in the game. And it kind of reminds me of, um, well, what happens towards the end of this. It reminds me way too much of the Sam Raimi movies. And. Is that? What's going on here? Wait. The police are here, but what's going on here? Yeah, seriously, this is it. Okay, so we have demons. Oh boy. And we don't want them to spot Miles here either. Yeah, seriously. As if the human bombs were enough, we have to deal with the freaking demons arriving here. Seriously. Is whoever set off those human bombs in league with the demons? That's a um, serious question. It might well be so, but we don't know yet. Anyway, now we have to not get noticed by the demons, basically. Which is not easy to do. They will be shining their flashlights. And we as a... Like a teenager... Who, mind you, has not gained his spider powers yet. Um... Uh, but yeah. And we even have to see them getting murdered. Seriously. This game was not rated 18 for nothing. Seriously. This is on the same level as what Crystal Dynamics did with Tomb Raider. I mean, when they... Stopped making it like the um, thing, I mean, with the younger Lara Croft. Seriously, this is what this this whole mission reminds me of. And it is harrowing to see this happening to Miles Morales, seriously. I mean, so, um, I will say, Spider-Verse did have this happen as well with Miles. Because, of course, we did see, um, of course, not only, um, well, um... Peter Parker getting pretty much murdered by Fisk. That was a, a thing, yes. But also, of course, 
We see what happened to his uncle Aaron as well, in that case. Yeah, I wonder if the same thing has sadly happened to Jefferson Davis, his dad. I do hope not. And now what we have the very annoying and scary thing of walking over a narrow plank above a demon wielding a club or something like that. Seriously. We even get a picture of Jefferson Davis there. Seriously, this whole place has been blown to pieces. And so now where do we want to go? I don't know. That was right there. If we try and go over there, there's a chance we'll get um, spotted by the demons. Keep in mind, this mission does have checkpoints. This does have checkpoints. However, we will have to wait now for that demon to turn around so he doesn't spot us. And we want to make our way, believe it or not, to the main plaza. Seriously. I'm sorry for your loss. Do I know you? I'm Peter Parker. I was at City Hall when... Look, I know you don't know me, but I just wanted to say... I know what you're going through. Uh, that's what you were gonna say, right? Or it all gets easier with time. Don't worry. It's, it's part of God's plan. I'm sorry. I was just try trying to help. I know. I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I'm going to do with him. <laughs> 